What's up, everybody? We're uh, we're gonna get kicked off here in about a minute or two. Just waiting. Uh, just giving it a sec. Which one are you watching? Instagram. Is it real? Like, mm. We good? You move that a little bit? We need to move that forward real quick. I can't see that triangle. Can't put this, can't see the sign? Not the triangle. Okay. Here, I'll just do this. All right, guys, I'm going to get started. Um, First things first, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate everybody on the comments and likes and, and follows on, on social media. We, um, some notifications here. Um, All right, guys. Sorry, guys. So, anyway, um, I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about personal feelings within what's going on with hunting and with that you know that a, a lot of what we do here at, at No Limits Archery and Alpha Bow Hunting stems from our own personal experiences and uh, reactions toward things so obviously the the short booklet I wrote you know targeting buck fever the audio version is up now when I recorded the audio on that I wasn't satisfied with it and I actually went and, re and wrote another chapter and added that so that is on the audio portion um, but in doing so, it kind of got my mind thinking, refreshed some memories again of some of those situations I experienced in the field where, you know, the, the, the moment overtook me and it was, you know, just dealing with the, the nerves and the anxiety and the target panic and, um, and the buck fever. And it was one of those things that it was a, it, it was a memorable experience and it's not one that, and I, that I say it's a great memory. And I know a lot of bow hunters deal with that, you know, the the times where maybe you, you draw your bow back and you can't seem to hold your bow steady to save your life. You know, another another situation I had, big buck in front of me and, and I'm on a hillside and I got my leg trembling, you know. So there, there's things that happen that, that in, impact us and it just started putting everything into perspective as far as what we're looking to do from a coaching standpoint here, what we're looking to do as far as help and impact people and the message we're looking to deliver. And it's one of those things that Starting with this, this first live feed, I just wanted to reach out with some personal, a personal story, like I said, because it was it, those, those, those moments that impacted me are what's driven me to get better and, and search for an answer and search for answers, I should say. And uh, a lot of that's led to, over the years, just me forming a structure in a practice routine and learning from people and t going to seminars and trying to, to put everything together in one package. And in doing so, I start to reflect on what we're doing here at the archery shop. You know, we, we've, we've grown our archery shop and our customer base, and I think we've got a great loyal customer base, and I've got a great team of, of staff that works with me here. But at the same time, I start to see where there's loops, that, where there's, there's gaps that we need to fill from an instructional standpoint. And that being said, the, the biggest thing that I saw was, you know, everything is focused on the sales. Everything is focused on, um, you know, the, turning the dollar and obviously that's how we keep our lights on and that's how we keep ourselves employed but at the end of the day there's mo there's so much more to that that I, I don't want my message to be or I don't want what's well, how I impact this industry to be the, the amount of sales I turned over I want it to be something bigger than that and in doing and feeling that way I really started to put together and, and structure um, a course in a, in a, in a system and in, 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 in indirectly, the, the, the book that I wrote was in many ways the first step to that. It was the foundation, if you will. And um, so what I'm seeing is not just myself is having that problem. It's box stores. It's other shops. We're getting people out the door. You know, if anybody watched the seminar that I put up recently on YouTube from the ISE show, I touched on this. And we do a good job of selling the customer and setting them up properly and, and trying to teach them as much as we can in that short time. And then you go out the door and sometimes customers are left wondering as to what's next or how do I really practice or what do I do? You know, this is archery and bow hunting specifically is so far behind the times as far as what other bigger markets are doing uh, from an instructional standpoint. 
So what, I'm, what I've done and what my team has done and what we're looking to do is to try to help fill the gaps and, and to, to better display that for you. You know, a perfect example, there's a lot of great podcasts out there right now, right? Video feeds on YouTube, podcasts, guys like John Dudley who's doing a great job. Uh, George Riles is another super technical guy that I like to listen to. Um, Aaron Snyder, Brian, Brian Call, some of these guys are just giving you spot information. And if what we're trying to do, you know, is build our pyramid, build our system, and what I want to start with from the coaching standpoint is emphasizing that you, the shooter, the one person, you always need to be right here at the pinnacle, right? You need to be at the top. You need to be the person selfishly that's working on making yourself the best you. And what I see so much going on is I see a little spot information from a podcast here and a little spot that, that fills a gap there and here and here and here. But at the end of the day, it's spot information. It's not structured. It's not taking you from point one, point A, building your foundation, building your form, building your, your shot execution, your shot routine, and then taking it from there to the next step and starting to apply it, starting to test yourself, come back, evaluate, and then test yourself again and keep pushing those boundaries, pushing those limits, if you will. Um, one of the things that, that we've started to, to do is, is we've, we've put up our first online course on alpha bow hunting, and it's starting with the target panic and buck fever course. That course right now is available. You can go to alphabowhunting.com on our coaching tab and select that and, and purchase that course as it is an online video series course. In addition to that, I have, um, I've put up the audio version for free to the, to the book Targeting Buck Fever with the bonus chapter. And so starting from the foundation, right, everything, like you build a house, like you build anything else, you start with the foundation. So starting with your building blocks, right, your, your shot routine, starting with release execution, starting with understanding the mental mindset as to what you need to be thinking about when you're shooting and starting to, to put these in place. And these bigger blocks, these build, bigger building blocks are not necessarily the spot pieces of nuggets of knowledge that you might get from a, a podcast. And I'm not knocking the podcast. I love them, I watch, I listen, and I follow them. But what I'm trying to tell you here is what we're trying to put together for the greater good of, of bow hunters in general to help you elevate your game and elevate your success is it's got to start with the building blocks and it's got to start at the bottom. And that first structure, that first course that we've already put up is the building blocks that are foundational archery. It's title targeting, uh, it's buck fever and target panic, but at the same time, it's so much more than that because from the very grassroots or bare, uh, the, the, the structure of what you're doing from an archer, you need to start with that one spot and, and build from there. As you build into that, you know, we get into the, the second step, which is going to be our next offering uh, on our online course sessions, it's, it's reverse engineering your system, okay? As, as a bow hunter and as an archer, you should be identifying things. You need to see your, set your long-term goal, goal first and then start working backwards. You know, I use this pyramid. I, I'm going to, I mean, in, in my tutorials and my structure, we're going to be calling this the alpha pyramid as, again, it starts with you. And as you start plugging yourself into this into the situation, you start working yourself through this pyramid, and then you get to the bottom of it, then you flip it around and you say, okay, what our base is. We need to build our pyramid back up, and then we start working our way back upwards till we finally achieve you and the hunt, right? This, if that's your goal, that's what we're gonna be building ourselves up to. So within the first series that we've already introduced, um, like I said, it's very much structural, shot routine. Uh, coaching you through that. There is almost three hours of content on that first series that we've loaded. Second to that, as we get into the next structure of what our courses are going to be and our offerings are going to be, you know, you, again, you start learning how to plug yourself into the system that is determining effective range, showing you what our alpha rule of thirds is and how to build a system for you to walk into the field every year and actually be confident as to any specific distance of a shot that you may encounter, you're gonna have, you're gonna know right away based off two questions that you're gonna ask yourself, is this a shot or is this not a shot? So that's breaking down into our second course, which is our shoot or don't shoot online course. And again, that course starts to build more of what is the, the building blocks here of, of shooting and, and archery and having a structure and having a practice routine. And, and we're gonna break down showing you how to keep a journal and what to keep, what to start looking for. In addition to that, as we move on and move forward, it's going to get more so into the 
test and apply, right? You're going to start testing yourself. And whether it's an archery tournament, whether it's a, you know, a, a smaller hunt, maybe a small game hunt, maybe a turkey hunt, maybe something like that where you're going to be able to test yourself and then come back and reevaluate and re-journal and keep working your way upward. And then as we get up to the top and you start understanding what our last kind of focus on the pinnacle is, which is situational archery. One of the biggest things that, that I talk about in so much of my conversations and my seminars is I learned from all of you that come into the doors here and, and something that may have you have, may have experienced that, that we haven't experienced, I try to learn from that, take a little nugget from it so the next time I'm in the field, I kind of see if I'm seeing the same things or if it applies the same way. The, the guys behind the counter are all doing the same thing. So we can take so much of a big customer base and learn so much information and then try to mold it and put it into a package to where when we start talking about situational archery that is, again, applying your system, which we're going to teach you in all of these courses, which is the, the rule of thirds that, that where it stems from, learn, teaching you how to determine your effective range, and then also plugging you into that system where you get ready to hunt. And all we're doing here as we're working you up this system, as you're going up from the foundation blocks, is you're gaining confidence because you're applying, you're seeing things happen as we've walked you through the courses and put you in the right mindset and the right, right, right place to be successful in the field. Because I guarantee you, there's so many, there's so many hunters and bow hunters out there that a week or two weeks before the, the season hits, that it's, it's, it's a, hey, I hope I get lucky, I hope I see something. Well, you know, what's your effective range? And it's always usually distance based and that's where it stops. And that's where this course and this system takes you beyond that, takes you into the next step of what else you should be thinking about, applying it in situational archery and practicing. And in doing so, as you start picking up on those podcasts and listening to spot information, YouTube videos, you start to fill these gaps now and you start to make your structure and your system stronger and you have a better base and you have a better understanding of what you're doing moving forward. One of the things I want to touch on quickly is, you know, again, no limits archery. We're a sales shop, right? We we sell you uh, sell the customers archery based goods. In addition to that, we're a service based shop. And what I said in one of my my uh, Facebook and Instagram feeds was, you know, we need to take a step back from what is focusing on the the technologies to fix our problems. And this is where it starts because if you don't have your big building blocks and your big structure in place, your understanding of archery and animal size and kinetic energy and and how your kinetic energy carries down, down range and, and allowing a lot of that to determine your effective range more so than just, oh, I can hit a six inch group at 70 yards, so I'm gonna go let one rip at 70 yards. So if we can take a step back now and say, look, we need to get some, some structure in implementing some systems in what we're doing as an archer, so when we get ready to go hunt, we are gonna make ourselves more successful in the field. So when we, when we talk about how the, the gear that we use will better serve us. The gear that we use will better serve us by understanding once we have the building blocks and the system in place, you're going to be able to better test and understand, okay, these arrows with this broadhead combination equal better uh, effective range for me because now I understand what I'm looking for. I understand how to put my system together and build my arrow and, and spin test my broadheads and have my bow tuned and aligned and ready to go forward. So there's so much of that that as we move forward into what we're going to be doing on our, on our courses that it's, it's, we're trying to fill the gap. I mean, we're, we're trying to um, make our customer base, not just our local No Limits customer base here in the Denver metro area, as successful as it can be. But this is with technology. I mean, obviously, I mean, the, the feed right here, right, it's, it's cool. We're going to have the video up on, uh, on YouTube here as well pretty soon. But... I'm just trying to, to explain to you, I've been in, in your position many times before, if you are dealing with some of those issues. And maybe you're not dealing with those issues, but at the same token, this may be something that, as many bow hunters know and, and archers, maybe you don't have target panic right now, but at some time, at some point you may dabble and you may kind of go down a downhill spiral, and it may not take you as long to come back up and uh, get out of it or learn what you're doing to get out of it, let us show you the system that we've built, put in place to, to, to start you with step one and moving forward. If you're a new archer or a new bow hunter, if you know somebody that's a new archer, this is a great place to start because when we, stock, we talk about your shot routine and, and your shot execution and what you should be looking for and what you should be telling yourself with, 
the positive affirmations and the control words to, to keep yourself moving through your system, this is all going to benefit any level of archery, whether it's new, whether you're an experienced archer, maybe there's just one thing. You know, I, I read a lot of books, I listen to a lot of audio books, and I heard a, a quote from one of the authors recently, and he said, you know, he, you're paying 30 to 50 bucks for some books. You know, I don't do that with audio books, but in some cases, you're just looking for that one piece of information, right? that one nugget that's going to take you, and you're going to be able to put it into your system, and you're going to be able to move forward with it. And that's what you're going to do here but on a bigger scale, because with a structured system, you should be getting lots of uh, points of, uh, of reference and information and, and guidance through the, the, the course and the system to help you be better prepared. So, you know, it, it's, it's something that I'm, I'm not a big social media guy. I mean, I post some pictures here and there, and you know, we talk about it amongst our friends, and it's something that this here, this, this message and this coaching and this structure is something that I feel so, so strongly about that we're going to be posting more info. We're going to be posting some more free tips. We're going to be posting some more free seminars, touching on some spot information. And it's not that I want to keep feeding you this. I want to feed you this, and I want to put you here, and I want to help you get to that top 10% status when it comes to being successful in the field. And, you know, one of the things that, that um, as, we get, as we get further into this is just know we're not coming from from a, a point of we're better than you. Okay, that's one thing that I at any in my my seminars, my talks, my my uh, workshops that we do. I, I never try to make it come off that way. I'm always I'm I'm we're bow hunters, right? And it's just something that we're we've got a platform to learn from so much more um, in that field, and and I, I just want to be able to share that with you and and help coach you through that. And uh, you know I did advertise we were going to be doing some. Some giveaways today and what I have because again within what we're doing is is a lot of understanding where a, re, where a release should fire from uh, understanding where in your shot uh, you're gonna get consistency from and a lot of that if, if you're suffering from any kind of target panic or anxiety based issues within your archery a, a tension style pull through release is something I feel can really help you so two things I'm gonna ask of you guys is one Get, go on to uh, alphabowhunting.com and sign up for our news, our, our email list, okay? On that, in addition to that, uh, you know, we're going to be going through, we're going to be picking somebody here and announcing it on, on one on Instagram and one on Facebook, and I'll try to get that up tomorrow, uh, worst case Saturday, as to who we're going to be giving one of these. I've got a Stan Element, which is, is a, a really good pull-through style release, and a Hamski Breakthrough. So we're going to be giving those away. In addition to that, I want to throw something out there. The, the no lim, or the excuse me the alpha bow hunting challenges that we offer that really fits into this testing it's one version of a test that you can implement as you get into preparing yourself for for the field so that schedule is up we're looking to really dial up what we've done in the last few years any of you who've participated you know that hey you know we bring it big we've been giving away tons of prizes last year we were just under thirty thousand dollars worth of cash and prizes we gave away at four events okay so this year, that's we're looking to, to, to go above that and step it up, but there's some other elements we're going to be adding to that game. Um, so just for the next few days, as, an, as a thank you for anybody tuning in today, if you want to get logged in and sign up for one of those events, uh, I'm going to give you a 20% off promo code through, uh, through Sunday if you want to get signed up. And for the youth, there's a different line item on the stores. So when you go to alphabowhunting.com and you click on the shop tab, you're going to have to go down and find the youth registration. It's a, it's a lower, uh, less value, less dollar entry fee. And type in Alpha Youth 20 at, uh, at the promo code at checkout, and it's going to kick you 20% off. For the adults, it's just Alpha 20. And that's for any event. The finals is, is a few bucks more as we do the catered dinner, and, and we, we, do a, we do it bigger at the finals. If you've been to any of the finals the last couple years, uh, so any event, 20% off, get, get registered there. So that's just a bonus thank you that I'm throwing out there to everybody um, for, for what we've got going on. And there was one other thing here I want to I wanna mention before I start looking at some of these feeds and see if there's anything topic-wise that I need to try to, to add in here. But there's so many topics, guys. I mean, from the standpoint of understanding uh, your arrow combination with how it applies to a certain game, which how it applies to holding energy and everything downrange. And that's something that all those things, the, the, the shot execution, the shot routine, the rule of thirds, that, that's something that I've refined from my video on YouTube 
to, to implement in this structure to where it plugs you into a system to where you know shoot or don't shoot. So again, that course, the, that course is going to be up February 1st, but you can get online right now and get the early buy price on that stuff for the, for the course. So one last thing I wanted to, to show you guys, and if you can see it here, this is on the Alpha Bow Hunting Coaching tab also. We've got an all-day workshop we're going to be offering March 24th. This is going to be the first of, of a few. We're not going to do a ton of these. This is going to be a select small group of people where we're going to take you through our whole system. You're going to come in. We're going to plug you in. We're going to start with you at the top, and we're going to start feeding you down our, our pyramid and showing you the discovery phase of what's going on and the uh, informational phase and we're going to do practicals where we're going to get you out on the range and we're going to help you sight in to determine your effective range and we're going to come back and we're going to start building you back up the pyramid and show you how to build your system and get you ready for the hunt. So this is something that my team and I is very uh, excited to be able to bring. There is only 15 spots available for this one week workshop that we're going to be doing. I'm going to be doing something here in the next within the next week to 10 days where we're going to give away a couple of these uh, seats for free but this will uh, this will be one of two that I can think of right now that we're gonna offer we will video this as well and offer as an online course um, Facebook feed do dove out there so I apologize about that but look into this because this is this is the early bright buy price of what we're gonna do again I don't want to keep turning this into a sales pitch guys but at the end of the day this is how we keep our lights on this is how we keep serving our, our customer base this is how we are able to bring things like the alpha bow hunting challenge and keep adding more to it and giving you more because of, of the, all the product and all the stuff that I get from uh, my partners in, in, the, in the sponsors on this I give away 80% of it 80% goes, goes to the field randomly at, at, to anyone so to be able to, to bring this to you I mean you know, when, we, when we're charging 55 to $60 an hour for a private lesson, and you start to think about a six to seven hour class, we're going to, again, take you through so much. This is a really small investment to where you can put into your, uh, you know, into your arsenal and really help you be better as a bow hunter. So that's all I've got on, on covering some of the topics I wanted to cover. Like I said, th there's, there's stuff out there, and we're trying to put it in, in structure and system format so you can take and we can put you in point from starting point A and move you all the way up the ladder and get you to where you're ready to be successful in the field. And this is for any level of hunter. I mean, if, you're, if your effective range is 30 yards, then that, that you're going to have a system that's going to be within that, uh, which your effective range is. If, you're, if, you're, if you can hold a group out to 90 or 100 or 120 yards, we're going to build a system that applies to you and show you the variables and what you should be thinking about at different distances and how to plug yourself into our alpha rule of thirds. So I'm going to take a peek here up closer at the camera. Our uh, Facebook feed kind of farted out. Um, hey guys, I appreciate you following on this feed. Uh, some of the stuff c are coming through. Um, and Bo's, Bo's been chiming in on there, kind of helping me hopefully on some of these questions as people are asking questions. So uh, feel free to, like I said, Facebook is is going to have to go up in a bit. But feel free to, to reach out, phil at nolimitsarchery.com. Um, Again, come into the shop. Come sit and talk with us. We're always willing to, to talk with you about any issues you might be having and, and help you give you the best advice we can because at the end of the day, it's not just about a sale for me. It's about making sure it's the right uh, platform for you and, and the right tool because, like I said, you're not going to get the, the leverage with that technology if you don't have a solid base um, working into what is your bow hunting system. So. I'm going to go ahead and chime out, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. We're going to be posting again uh, soon here, like I said. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll let everybody know on Facebook and Instagram who the winner is there and from, from the people that we're here following, as that's kind of what our agreement was. And don't forget, if you want to get signed up for an Alpha Bow Hunting Challenge, like I said, 20% off through the weekend. Alpha 20 for the adults, Alpha Youth 20 for the kids. And check out our courses. That we're really excited about some of the projects we're working on. The shoot or don't shoot, which is really the kind of the middle middle third of the pyramid here, that should be up February 1st, and it's going to be all online video content where you can go in and, and follow it at your own pace and check it out. So that's all we've got. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll we'll check you out later.